In the name of Allah, the gracious, the merciful. Jihad is one of the most misunderstood concepts about Islam in this day and age. Some people persistently assume that jihad is a bloody, holy war meant to eradicate everything non-Islamic and purely used for conquest and political dominance. Even terrorists exploit this misunderstanding of jihad and vehemently abuse un-Islamic definitions of jihad to attempt to bring legitimacy to their unjust causes. The word jihad comes from the root letters J-H-D, which, according to Lane's lexicon, mean he strove, labored, or toiled, exerted himself or his power or efforts. The essence of jihad, therefore, is to endeavor or to strive to improve one's self. It would be a gross distortion of facts if it is suggested that the only meaning of jihad is military action. The Holy Quran states, وَجَاهِدُوا فِي اللَّهِ حَقَّ جِهَادِهِ Meaning, and strive in the cause of Allah as it behoves you to strive for it. As such, there is no advocacy for violence in the term jihad. A careful study of the Holy Quran shows that there are three types of jihad. Number one, jihad akbar greatest jihad, which refers to striving against evil or the self that incites to evil. Number two, jihad kabir greater jihad, which refers to striving against Satan and satanic teachings. Number three, jihad asghar or lesser jihad, which refers to striving with financial sacrifices and even sacrificing one's life in self-defense in order to protect the Muslim community from annihilation. The distinction between the greater and lesser jihad is made when the Quran says, وَجَاهِدْهُمْ بِهِ جِهَادًا kabira," and fight against them by means of it, that is, the Holy Quran, a great fight. The words jihadan kabira are used by the Quran to indicate a spiritual struggle for self-reformation with the help of guidance contained in the Holy Quran. Jihad then refers to a war that a person wages against evil, satanic thoughts, and inclinations. The Quran makes this emphatic point when it says, And as for those who strive in our path, we will surely guide them in our ways. And verily, Allah is with those who do good. The Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings of God be upon him, made the same point when he said, The mujahid, or one who engages in jihad, is one who strives against his own soul. At one occasion, returning from an expedition, Prophet Muhammad said, We return from the lesser jihad, heading towards a greater jihad. This statement was made when returning from a battle, and it clearly points to a return from the lesser jihad of physical defense to a greater jihad of striving against evil. The lesser jihad of fighting in self-defense, mentioned in some places in the Quran, always had a specific context and applied to a specific time period only. Even in worldly terms, when a person's country is under attack and his or her family's life is at stake, would it not be just for him to engage in fighting for the protection of his home and nation?